there's all kinds of different things. You can do everything from artificial intelligence, human computer interaction, web design, computer security, networking. When I was in eighth grade, I discovered that I could make websites, and so I started playing around with that idea, and I taught myself web coding, I taught myself how to make graphics. I'd like a job where I can not only do what I like in the workplace, but have enough work-life balance where I can do things out of the workplace that are just for hobbies. Everybody uses computers, whether it be for just information technology purposes or for actual software that they use, and so um, everybody wants computer science majors. Well, right now my favorite class is um, CompSci 319, and that's a user interfaces class. And it's definitely my favorite just because we learn how the program interacts with the user and how we can make it easier for the user to play around with our different software that we're designing. We, ha we have a really big project for the end of the year where we're, um, it's our own design, and my project is a project management website. And so there's going to be a calendar, a chat room, a discussion board, concurrent code editing. The first intro class is Computer Science 227. Um, that's a fun class to just dive into programming Java. And a lot of students don't even come to Iowa State knowing how to program or anything. And so it's a really good jump in. Another one that I liked was Computer Science 228, and that's a data structures course. And that is with um, Professor Steve Kautz. And there's all kinds of fun projects in there. Um, my favorite project was a Tetris game. And we had to make the game Tetris with a bit of a twist where not only were the pieces falling just like regular Tetris, but um, each piece had a probability of 10% to have a magic spot on it. And um, you could rotate the spot within the piece. And whenever you got three spots in a row um, in your board, then gravity would be turned on and all your holes would be filled by the pieces above it. And it was a really fun project. I'm also in all kinds of different computer clubs. I'm in the Computer Science Software Engineering Club. And that is both social and professional. We've had companies come in and talk to us. We've had kickball games outside. We've done all kinds of different things. And Digital Women, it's a club actually that I helped start. And it's for women in computer science and software engineering. Let's see, I'm also in the Information Assurance Student Group. And that's a club all about computer security both from the defense side and from the offense side with hacking into different computers and stuff. And it's really interesting. You can learn about the different techniques because the more you know how to attack, the more you know how to defend. And so when I first came to Iowa State, I went to the career fair and a company was there called Priority 5 and one of their branches is in the Iowa State Research Park. And um, they hired me right away just because they needed a part-time student and is really fun. I initially started off with software testing and then also as a result of the career fair I got a job with General Mills over the summer for an internship and that was the best thing that I could ask for. It was a really fun internship. There was all kinds of free food everywhere. I got to know everybody really well. There was a student who is at Iowa State who's also interning there and she was my roommate and now we're just really good friends. It was the perfect internship really. My project was a web design project and so there were multiple groups in General Mills that were using this platform, Mark SharePoint 2010 by Microsoft. And so um, it was brand new to General Mills and not many people knew how to use it. And so I dove in and I taught myself pretty much everything there is to know about SharePoint and I made multiple sites for them. <music> Professor Kautz, who teaches the intro courses for co computer science, um, not only does he teach the courses and hold extra office hours and facilitate good discussion board things online, but he also um, is the advisor for the computer science learning community, so he makes sure students are getting the help they need every week. Just one day I decided that I was going to go to office hours because I was struggling on an assignment and I sat down and he basically just figured out my problem within two seconds. I, I just had to explain just part of my problem and then he said, well, obviously you have to do this. and he was able to just completely walk me through it until I understood it well, and I ended up with an A in the class because of it. My advisor, Gloria Kane, is the best advisor on the planet. I could not ask for a better advisor. She takes, she, she'll do anything for the students. She puts students first. If I go in just to ask her a question and she doesn't know the answer, she'll call five different people to make sure that I do know the answer. I've had friends who go to her because they're not sure if they want to be a computer science major and she'll just call up a professor for them to come down and help talk them through it. She's really the best advisor I could ever ask for. She really knows what she's doing and she always remembers students too. Going into computer science you might think that 
it'll be pretty easy just because you're you want to make a game, you want to make an application, you want to make something that people will use. But it is tough. But you have to know that everybody else is finding it tough too. There's not just one person who can get it right away no matter how many people pretend to. You just need to find a study group early and really stick with them. The study group I found early freshman year I'm still talking with still. We have groups online and we just work together and can do pretty much anything together just because we're all working together whether we're struggling or doing well. Thank you.